All right, welcome back to Divinity Original Bush. Okay, Original rock. Nice sneaking failed. Cause I went to sleep. Yo, we need to kill these things. What the fuck are you doing? No, no pussy. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Stay right here. All right. Just, just wait. Uh, uh, want you to sleep with me? I uh, do mean that in the, the gayest way possible. All right, I'm using bedroll. Not bedroll. safe. Not safe to rest here. Let's just go back here a little bit. Come on, other trees. I never expected. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Alright. Let's try and encourage or something. I just go ahead and trigger it. Alright, fine. Now we start with a small buff. Woohoo! Oh, yay, for one turn. <laughs> no, I got two it's turns, actually. What? Bad. I got for two turns. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Jeez, why you have to be that way? How good you encouraged him. See how far that infusion far looks. Farsight? The fuck? What's, what, what's Farsight? I gave him a ranged like? attack. I read about him here, but he gives him a bit of armor, I guess? Where is it? Farsight. Magic armor plus 7. Damage plus 25%. The fuck? You don't give me that shit? Farsight infusion? I can't. Why? Because it's only on summons. Why can't that be your summon? Yeah, bitch enough. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see, a mosquito swarm, what does this do? Oh god, it's a heal! Disgusting! Best ability. Enemies, is this, this is an AoE? It might be. Yeah, he gets a different kind of summon. For Wait, did you heal them? You just healed them. <laughs> I healed me. Oh, I, I just saw the thing above your head, sorry, my bad. Yeah, so Ken gets a different kind of summon every time. Fuck. I, th I think he knows you, dude. Did someone call my name? Yeah. Oh my god, these got hurt. Uh, okay. Alright, okay. Uh, I need to save your summon. It's important. <laughs> nice! Alright. Running bold mode. Nice. And I don't think I get anything. Oh no, I get, I get the dragon's breath. <laughs> Be kind. Awfully kind of you. Oh, 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 no, get away from me. Attack of opportunity. Dude, he's on fire. He's so fucking dead. What the fuck? Oh, my God. <laughs> Slap. Well, I wasn't knocked down, though, was I? Wait. I can't get knocked provoked, down. They're don't they? I guess not. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's just like, I don't know why. It, it doesn't seem to work that well. Even with it, the, because they had no physical armor either. That's a thing. I can hit this one. I'm just slap him. <laughs> Blap. Got him. Blap. I guess I'll just, uh... So I can do... He leveled up, you got a full heal. So I have, uh... Yeah, I'll just hit him twice. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> what HP? Time for my ranged attack! Uh. You got him. Click on party members. We can in initiate a reflection dialogue. Oh shit, get over here. Stare at the slain beasts, and comment that they must have been the cause of the shipwreck. Hmm, hmm, hmm. They're just animals. <laughs> Easy enough to euthanize. They're just animals. Easy oh. enough to euthanize. <laughs> uh, they, they didn't put much of, much of, of a fight. They didn't put up much of a fight. Dry land mustn't suit them. I, I keep forgetting it actually voices this. Yeah, <laughs> to say that didn't take much of a fight, they'd be easier than the ones on the ship. <laughs> Bladder was on the ship. Ah, this one's nice. Another resurrection scroll. So it says here. <laughs> just a jailer. So it says here that I got a, a regular scroll. Oh, let's see the ancient book. Source King in, in, insists that there are no magics too foul. Uh. Helm collar mask book. I don't even know. Yeah, you can have that. Actually, it just pawned a buff on me. Actually, it, it it loaded something up for the magisters. Where's the uh? You know, <laughs> give me stolen goods. Yeah. Oh, there you go. The magisters. Okay. 
Yeah, no, no, no. I, I, I stole it, but nobody, no, nobody could do anything about it. The person I stole from was like bleeding. It's all good. All right. Oh, I'll take this crate. Uh, two new recipes. Oh yeah, so we have the crafting screen. So uh, I don't know where where the recipes at. Oh, there they are. So I could do improvised staff, shell, and long branch, but we don't want that. A knife, knife on a stick might not be bad. Short stick, any knife. You want like? You want to? You want to make a knife on a stick? I don't know. I need sharp piece of metal and a long, uh, a long stick. I have a pocket knife. Yeah, I guess I guess crafting in this game isn't dictated by skill, so you just kind of get to do it. Yeah, anyone can do it. So like, yeah. sweet. That's the reason not to give all the arrowheads and shit to the ranger and let them do all the fucking nerding work. Yeah, I want some mashed potatoes. You want some mashed potatoes? I'll get you some mashed potatoes, buddy. Rain scroll, herring, water essence, and sheet of paper. Nigga, <laughs> this is mashed potato. <laughs> Delicious. Uh, it gives me plus one to strength, dude. Actually, yeah, you, I'm gonna get the other one, dude. You, you, you strength. Yep. Yeah, that's legit as fuck. Have some of that. Here, I have this barrel here. Oh no, the red prince isn't here. Oh right, because I'm the red prince. Motherfucker. Yeah. The only downside to playing the Red Prince is you don't get the Red Prince's voice that often. I mean, you kind of do, but I, I, I like playing as him because he's a fucking... He's a prince. It's hilarious. He's so lovable, but he's such a prick and I love him. Yeah. Oh, dude, there's a cat here. Or a rat. The cat's eyes are clouded and gray, but it stares at you with acute intensity. Hmm. What? How did I get... Hey, stop following me. It's just that you weren't following it. It approached you. What? No, that can't be. I can't. Hey, stop following me. Are you okay? Huh? Yeah. Fine. I'm fine. I just. I'm not sure. It's all a little foggy. And where'd you come from? The cat opens his mouth as if to speak, but his eyes lose focus, and with a jerk, he turns away from you. All right. What a jerk. A black cat. Maybe my luck is about to change. <laughs> oh, it's following you. Me. <laughs> it stares at you with acute intensity. Its eyes clear, and it shakes its head, confused. Can't talk to cats. Only I can talk to cats. This is my cat now. <laughs> he knows what's good. I, I guess that's your follower then. That's fine. He can smell the food on me. <laughs> he can smell the fish. You can smell the fucking the, the limb. Oh, what the hell? What you, oh yeah, the perception. I gave you the limb. Yeah, so we just revealed something. It's a passageway here. The world secrets. Keep an eye out for secret passages. Try walking through the hanging vines. All right, we'll do that. There we go. I wonder where this leads. There's an ooze barrel. We can turn it. Oh, the ooze! Oh, dude, Fane's here. As the alcove opens up. You see the same skeleton that you met on the boat before it sank. He's still not wearing his mask. He's leaning over a corpse, prodding and pulling at the skin of its face. Bugger. How on earth am I supposed to... Oh. Perhaps... Skeletal fingers reach down and grip the skin of the dead man's face, pulling sharply upwards. After a few more tugs at the man's cheeks, the skeleton relents, letting the head drop to the ground with a damp thud. Damnation. That stuck fast. I wonder, does the beard act as some form of anchor? Oh, what is he doing? Ah, no! Stay back! Don't... Oh, it's you. I must admit I'm surprised. Perhaps you're more buoyant than I suspected. Is there anything valuable there? Oh, yes. An exceptionally common but exceptionally valuable commodity. A face. A face that seems rather stubbornly attached to his skull. I would normally employ a tool to delicately, but viciously, rip the face from the body. I could then craft a mask to hide my bone. But, as I lack such a tool... The skeleton grabs the corpse by the cheeks and pulls hard, grunting in frustration as the body's skin holds firm. Why do you need to make a mask? Because my own was stolen from me! And the idea of being chased across Rivalon by every idiot with a torch does not appeal! Oh! Get away! Monster! Hide the children! Oh, you are simple beasts. 
and you simply do not like my... Well, not my kind, but those that look like me. So, if I am to traverse this land, I will need a mask to disguise my features. What does he mean, not his kind? Simply put, I am an Eternal, and you are not. You have my sympathies. Indeed, no one seems to have the good taste to be. My people are rather absent, at least from this realm. As for the others, well, there is an excavation site at the Black Pit's oil fields. Perhaps there I'll find my answers. All right, well, we're not taking this guy as a companion, so we're just going to... Leave. Yes, yes. Do feel free to call. Which may be to the sadness of many people. Loudly. I'm sad. Up on me again. I do like this guy. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's it's Ken's fault, so. Uh, it, was there... Okay, so, where do you think, uh, the ranger is? Uh, whatever, whatever uh, whatever her name is. Where do you think she's Not at? Not entirely sure. Uh, I'm just kind of debating. I've noticed there's like there's a chest over in that waterfall there. Ah, so there is. No idea how to get to it though. Well, if, I'm sure if you had telekinesis, you probably could. Or no, I was just thinking that. No, no, because you can't you can't make it there. But like I tried grabbing and like there's actually a spot you can throw it to. You just can't get close enough. Mm. So I think with high enough telekinesis, you probably do it. Yeah, but who's gonna invest that much into it? Ah, uh, blood. I'm already poisoned now. All right, well let's look around for the followers maybe first, except you're. Poisoned. Nah, I can just rest, it's fine. Oh, yeah, that's true. But the bedroll, it's actually just non issue. You know, I can just get rid of this, right? No. Yeah, now it's on fire. Fucking yeah, and now, fantastic. And now they'll, they'll go out. Opposed to poison, no. won't go out normally. What the hell is the, the cat doing here? Is clouded and gray. What's going on? Okay. I want to see if I can find uh, maybe at least one follower before we go up the beach too much. Unless you think we can handle it. Which we maybe can. I just want to see if I can find out where she is. You think it's gotta be someone else on this beach? I mean, I would think so, but I don't know, cause like I played as her last time, so I don't know. Cause that's who, that's who I'm looking for right now. I would, I would like. Well, the I Ranger. played as her last time, Sabiel. Did you? Oh. Yeah, I played Sabiel, and you were playing. Oh, it's Fain. Oh, it's Fain. Oh, it's Fain. Okay, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, shovel. I want, I want to, I want to see her. At least that, or maybe just go, hop into town briefly and get like maybe your your guy. Oh, dude, ham. Fuck yeah. You take my ham. Yeah, I fucking did. What's this thing? Oh, it it tells you on the map, uh, where like. So yeah, I I noticed on the map it tells us okay, black cat is there. Oh yeah, and also we can I can shame ping Pat. Uh, sorry, not Pat. <laughs> you don't call me Pat. It's been so long. Come on. <laughs> You were doing so well! I know, it happens. Your god worker has asked you a question. Well, I've had a chest, I'm gonna open this. Yeah, go ahead. I guess I'll go check. I'll, I guess I'll I stay go here. And stay what if I scroll. Ooh, talking to people. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape, Atusa. We have proof. I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapees. If you can tell the Godwoken no more, your tongue is of no use. Cut it out. This can't be serious, Alexander. Come! You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister. Whatever she may ask. Command the kin to, to disobey. She stands above the petty laws of slave folk. <laughs> For Red Prince. Yeah, we gotta do that. Stay silent, lizard! Atusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She groans. Stop! My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think you would lie to his only son, your bishop, and your friend these many years. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the void destroy it. Dallas? Yes, your holiness. I believe we're done here. Damn. That's cold. What a waste. Cold as ice. Come. We'll be Listen. Fuck. Why are they so mean to me? Awesome. Oh, resurrection scroll? Oh, dude, we get a leg too? And a golden teaspoon. 
Alice can eat limbs. <laughs> you got the leg. Yeah, I got the leg. Alright. I'm gonna just give it a quick save here. Um, let me see on the map if there's uh, if she's around here. I've checked the beach. She's not here. Okay, so she's probably somewhere in here then. I'm gonna just check town. We can leave town after we go in, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. I understand. Quick loading. We just want to find... There's Louise. Bread or brisket. Bora, Carver's punishment. If you take proper days and yours, there's consequences. Okay. Where the fuck is Louise? So there's a lot of people to talk to here, but we're gonna. I could do the other way. Huh? I'll look the other way. Yeah, I'm just I'm looking on the map here. Oh, there she is. I found her. I'm gonna go get her. We want her. And well, you can go find your dwarven motherfucker. Wait, where is she at? Over here somewhere? Nosy? Oh, is she in the fucking thing here? So this is Fort jo No, this is uh Tension is medium. You shouldn't do anything out of the ordinary. Okay. There's an arena here, but I, I won't bother with that right now. Oh, there she is. What the fuck? Oh. The sill bell is fucking sneaky. Amid the squalor of Fort Joy, you suddenly spot an elf with diamond features. Regal and radiant, but cold too, and sharper than any knife. She was the one who sat rolling dice in the ship that went under, deciding fates with every roll. Or so she said. Her eyes are focused on a lizard some distance away. And you get the distinct feeling he's an unfortunate man indeed to be trapped in her tiger-like gaze. Uh, ask her what, what has her enamored with that lizard. No sooner have these words left your mouth than she turns about and grabs you in a stranglehold. You feel the tip of a long needle being pushed a little ways into your neck. You caught me off guard. No one catches me off guard. Better tell me who you really are, or this time I'll let my needle do the licking. I am Red Prince from the House of War. A prince of the House of Slavers. You've just signed your own death warrant with that admission. Uh oh, she doesn't seem to like me. A push, a pivot, and now you suddenly face her. The needle still all too deeply embedded in the side of your throat. Despite the precariousness of your situation, you notice something that remained undetected in the gloom of the ship. A flaw in her diamond features. A curiously shaped scar on her left cheek. It's dawning on you, isn't it? Why I hate reptiles like you. You recognize the scar as a lizard slave mark, but it's not your family's design. There's no reason for her to hate you. Yeah, I guess we'll do that one. But I do master with the heat of a million suns. She drives the needle in deeper and whispers. In truth, it does not matter in the least who you really are. You saw me mark my prey. You could warn him, save him, or kill him before I get my chance. That makes you a liability. That makes you needle feed. Uh, make her an offer. Instead of killing you, she can join you. Never. Uh, you're, you're, you're planning an escape and you need people with towns like hers. You're a slaver, Prince. Why would I chain my fate to one like you freely, like I was once forced to? So despite the, the apparent irony, you're the only one strong enough to secure her freedom. With her by your side, you can make, make it back to the mainland. I had to persuade her to join me? The fuck? I hate to say it, but you make sense, fork tongue. Oh, little needle mine, what should I do? Push or pull? Hmm, the agony of choice. Hmm. You know what? Today is a rather fine day. Sunshine and an easy breeze. Yes, I'll let you live. I'll even agree to travel with you, provided we talk to another lizard. The one I've had my eye on. I'm not quite sure the weather will save him. With a casual flick of the wrist, she withdraws the needle from your neck and smiles, as if she just invited you to sit down for tea. Let's discuss our respective roles then, shall we? You, me, and Death will be playing many a round of hide and seek. So, what role would you like me to play? As a rogue, my speciality is stealth. The quick silence of the dagger striking unseen. That said, I'm perfectly lethal wielding any weapon or magic. So, 
The choice is yours. So this is how you kind of choose what you want them to do. You say, okay, I want to ask her if she's getting My dexterous arts. My grace could make a cat's fur go green with envy. Go on, and give me the details. I'm going to tell her to become a ranger. Suits me fine. Lead on. Or better yet, let me take the lead. All right, that's then what I'll do. You're not quite certain you'll ever sleep soundly with Sibyl in any sort of proximity. But at least she's on your side. For the moment. Alright. She's bonded with the recruiter. And she'll only develop a relationship with me. So. That's kind of how this game works. So Kant has to basically get his own guy. Uh, I've learned a new skill as well. Speaking of, I got ambushed by an NPC. So he's going to remember it. Uh, oh. This is dialogue. Okay. Woman scra scrabbling at her throat. As if she can hardly breathe, you can just continue it now. As she catches sight of you, recognition flashes in her terrified eyes. She drops her hands from her throat and starts hyperventilating. Ben! Ben Mist! Ivan! Ben Mist! You killed them! You killed them! He killed them all! <laughs> you have a fan. <laughs> I, I like these. I like any fans lines here. Yeah, I I, I, li I like these fucking origin stories. They're fucking amazing, though. This is great. This like, I, great. Even, I, I can be a dick, but like, I'm here to finish the job. <laughs> <laughs> you can do whatever you want. I don't care. Keep him away from me. Help somebody. Keep him away. <laughs> what the fuck did you do? <laughs> what about... Nothing. I'm looking for beasts. All right, so first things first, let's do something important. We're going to do formation. Silbel is going to be as far away from me as humanly possible because I'm in the front. Uh, I don't want a tactical camera. Fuck, get me out of that. All right. So we can give her some fucking snacks. So there's a chunk of flesh. Uh, and we can also give her... I guess I'll give her a bow. Does she start with a bow or no? That's the question. Uh, let's go to her for a sec. I can't see what can does. Okay, she starts with a, a twig with a string. Which apparently is better than what I have. That's not bad. Okay, so let's let's have let's have uh let's have uh let's have Silvel uh eat some of this some of these fucking body parts. A single name throbs across your brain. Verdas, Verdas, Verdas. He must escape. He cannot die here. He cannot. I think this is the person on the ship that died. That's kind of interesting. And then, oh no, no, that that was the Verdas. Who's that? What, who did we get the leg from? The leg was the woman who died at the front gate. Oh yeah, yeah, Verdas. Who the hell's Verdas though? I don't fucking know. Oh. The woman at the front gate and the guy who died, guy who died in the boat. Just trying to see what, what updated. Oh, after part of the magistrate Astro was eating, it discovered so she went to help someone named Virtus to escape from Port Joy. Oh, uh, that's why. Okay, good. I'm glad we can just kind of look at that and see. Alright, let's go eat the chunk of flesh that's from the other thing. Actually, do, did we get a skill for that? Because I think we get skills for this kind of stuff. No, we didn't get one for I think you got a skill for that one, but the uh, one with the boat you will. Yeah, th this is actually this is why I wanted this character, because we get some interesting shit from this. As the dead man's flesh slides down your throat, you feel his consciousness enter yours. His memories are yours to experience. You are Finn. So Finn's the guy that died on the ship. Your heart is heavy. You know too much. It's all too much. You met... you met... him. A bright light blinds you, then fades. You feel a tremendous power in your hands, but they are shaking so hard you can barely use them. Suddenly you're on this very ship, crouched in a corner, hugging your knees. A figure approaches, an older woman. Her eyes are kind. She comes closer. She says she wants to talk. She reaches a hand toward you. You grasp it. The memories end. You are no longer Finn. You return to yourself with a jolt. And now, now she gets a drill on. So, I, I don't know when it does this kind of stuff, but adrenaline is uh, something that requires... Another NPC well. ambush with dialogue? Fucking hell. Uh... You can barter with almost all characters. Looky, looky, we have fresh faces here. Like I'm trying to find out where you are. All right, yeah, go ahead. We love fresh faces, don't we? Oh, yes, we do. Why don't you join us in a round of cards? First hands on the clock is off. Problem, freshy. In that case, <laughs> that was... enjoy your stay. But I'll be needing to collect your interment fee first, of course. I'm sure the Reds told you. No one gets along without paying the internment fee. 
So, let's make this easy. Empty your pockets. Chuckle and say you're not known for paying your way. Well, you've heard of it now, ain't ya? Go on then, Freshy. Turn them out. <laughs> Ask if you really want to try and shake down one of the lone wolves. Lone wolf, eh? Hey? If you lot are as fearsome as they say, how'd you let a troop of goons like the Reds get their hands on ya? <laughs> I just want to point out at this point I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> Ralvo looks you up and down. <laughs> of course he does. You know what? I'm in a good mood. Take a hike, Freshy. <laughs> you hear that, mate? This cub's got claws. Oh, shit. Are you Let's fighting? Him out, shall we? <laughs> Apparently. Good shit. Uh. -oh. I'll, I'll, I'll come on over. Just wait for me. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a hey, fuck you, and I'll be on my way. Where is he? I'm coming. Do, do the guards care that we're going to kill them? I don't think I have no idea. I'm coming. Come from so far away. I'm in the fight now. Oh, it's like I need to bring Silbel up here. Actually, let me haste myself first. Alright. And haste yourself. Oh, that's OP, actually. <laughs> like, she's on combat. Yeah, because she was far away from me. Alright, I'm ready to join you. Unless you want to run away from that. I don't know, they do- You can make, like, a full round run away, because- They do- like this. They do have a full fucking- They do have a full fucking HP bar. That's 72 health, dude. They're level 2. I know, it's uh, just get the fuck away. Just use the runaway thing then. Later! I shouldn't have even joined you with this. Uh. They have any range, is what I'm getting at. Uh. Oh, they have magic though. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why I joined you. I mean, they're all grouped up nicely. I don't know, what, what do you think? What do you think is the play here? R flee combat or what? Uh, will Flea Combat even work? I can't wait all day. We're not gonna close. win this, like, they're way too strong for us, look at that. Like, they have armor and everything, we don't have shit. Okay, I, fl I fled. Uh, let me go back to her. Alright, I'm out. Flea Combat. I'm out. And I'm on fire. Okay, I need to use my bedroll. Alright. <laughs> where's where's the bedroll for this person? Give me another bedroll. Can you lend me one of your bedrolls? Uh, yeah, I can do that. Where, where are all the bedrolls at? I got spare bedrolls. Yeah, good, yeah. good. We need them. I think I already gave one to you. You gave one to I me. Did. Oh, there it is in my spell. I can put my backpack, too. There you go, give us right to Sibyl. Alright. Sibyl. 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 So, problem. I have... No idea where Beast is. Uh. Well, one second, I'll help you out with that. Because I just looked at all the names of people on my map. I just hovered over them. It was Burrito. I don't know where the fuck. Butter. Gawain, Farah. Master thing. I don't know where he is either, to be honest. I mean, how, how much did you look around for? You. Enough to get you uh, ambushed twice. You, you I, I'm ambushed right now. Are you quite alone? Retard that, of course you're alone. Someone of your breeding has no business making friends in the wrong places. Okay, fine, what do you want to know? It's just... I have a proposition. Something... something very worth knowing. But it's hardly a group affair. I only need one. Ray, you're here alone. In that case, listen up. You must think me mad to approach a stranger, but this camp is full of cowards and I'm running out of time. Fast. Too fast. Way too fast. Hey, what are you planning? I've been here a long time. Longer than anyone else. People get taken sometimes. Some folks say they get cured. I don't know if I believe it, and I don't want to wait and find out. I have a way out of here. It won't be easy, and I need a partner. Just one. Are you interested? Uh, you need complying, uh, you have, you have companions to think about, yeah. Oh, noble. But after the magisters take you all, you'll know Found beauty him. will have been for nothing. 
Good luck with your friends, though. Enjoy your last days in good company, won't you? Oh, I can sell this guy's stuff. So how do I sell... How do I offer all, all my shit, though? Offer all wares. Oh, I see. That's neat. Uh, so I have all the wares. So he's got shocking touch skill book, blinding radiance. Yeah, I don't want any of that stuff, so we're not going to talk to him anymore. Alright, let's go find Kant. Where was he? What the fuck? He's over there? Yeah, he's also crabby you can talk to. Alright, go, go, go ahead and start talking to him. I'm, I'm, I'm walking over and I can just listen to it while you're... Uh... Hey, go ahead. The dwarf's fingers clamp around a splintered chunk of wood nailed to the skeleton of an old ship. His whole body strains with the effort of wrenching the plank free, to no avail. Ah. Uh, I guess Hail, I recognize this guy from the ship, and you seem glad he's made it. Eh? What a prick. Oh, that. That uh, won't be my first or last roll on a lost boat. Reckon I might have had a harder time of it without your help, though. Bravery on the high seas is rewarded tenfold in the hall, you know. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got business to attend to. The dwarf spits into each of his calloused palms and rubs them together, before placing them both back on the plank and pulling. <sighs> Bleeding nail must be... charmed or something. <laughs> Pete, you're off. Would you like some help? Uh, go on then, give it a go. You grab the plank and pull, but strain as you might, the pesky plank doesn't budge. Uh, forget it. Thanks for trying, though. You're a good kid. I'd offer you a cold one, if I had one on hand. For your trouble. I suppose it were a fool's errand thinking I could make something out of this heap. But I couldn't help myself from trying. And that one was a thanking with a nod. He sucks a finger and holds it up to the wind, testing the breeze. Winds like these, she would have capsized before she reached the break. Well, on to plan B. Plan B? Ask if he's planning an escape. He gives you a wry look, as though deciding whether to trust you. Aye. Was planning to build me a raft and paddle off. I've got business north of here, in a town called Driftwood. Far be it from me to miss an appointment. Say if he's getting out, you want in. Why don't we make a deal then? You help me get out of this place, and I'll do the same for you. Reach out, shake his hand, you'd be glad to have him as an ally. That's the spirit. He lifts an invisible cap and bows with the grace of a courtier. Pleased to make your acquaintance. The name's... Well, the name's dead and buried. What matters is what they call me. Beast. Oh, man. I think I'll go with a soldier there. Say you've heard of a, a dwarf called Beast before. Among the rank and file, he's known as the Hawk of the High Seas. Well, there's a new one. Hawk of the high seas, eh? Ah, I like it. Uh, ask him what he did to earn the name, like Beast. I'll tell you when you're older. Well then. Anyhow, we're a team now, so the me is not half as important as the us. Let's get down to brass tacks. Fighting, I mean. I've been up and down the realm so often it'd make your cabbage spin, and I've picked up a few tricks along the way. Truth be told, I've grown fond of crushing and casting. A battle mage, if you like. But there's not so important as team dynamics. So what'll it be? Say, you're just in some little muscle. Ask if he has any martial experience. I have more muscle in an inch than most have got in a mile. What do you have in mind? You don't have to read out these. Just pick it. You want fighter. <laughs> wow! <laughs> not that settles it. Capital. Capital, I... Well, that's that sorted. Onward, then. I've got to get out of here, and soon. And I suppose you do, too. Alright, so you must... In case you guys are wondering why I, uh... Kent is recruiting his own guy, it's because the story is tied to the person who recruits him, so he has to recruit him, kind of a thing, and... Because, I mean, it's his fault running this. Oh, dude, there's a crab to talk to, fuck. 
Yeah, I know. Pincer. Ha! Call it like a dog. A very tall, very scaly dog. I pity you, but Scepter the Ineffable has no patience for weakness. Mocker posturing and argue with those with skids red as hers and yours should stick together. Skin? Ha! A shell is my bulwark against this world. A carapace steel the sauce. Scepter could crush lizards by the dozen. I, Scepter, could crush dragons. <laughs> A fucking laugh. <laughs> Ask if it knows what goes on in the fort. Sorcerers dance while magistrates pull the strings. Fools all! Their tomfoolery won't save them from the destruction the void shall wreak upon them. Uh, is there any way out of Fort Troy? But of course. They'll happily dump your maggot-ridden corpse into the sea when they're through with you. <laughs> Ask if grab out can buy its source powers. This power is my birthright, same as yours. But one of us has grown to astounding heights, and the other has sunk into depths too humiliating to describe. Pity. Where's my brother to order bring you here to cure you? Ha! Of course, precious. But which is worse, the cure of a disease? Oh, that was a fucking... Livid conversation. <laughs> Livid? Yeah. Alright. Did that conversation take years of your life? Yeah, it did. Uh, where's Silva? Oh, okay, there she is. Alright, we're gonna leave it up here, guys, and we'll continue next time, so take care, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye!